I'm Dr. Sonia Anand, a steering committee member of the COMPASS trial who led the peripheral artery disease component of the trial. There were 7,410 patients randomized into the COMPASS trial who had peripheral artery disease. Uh, these patients were defined based on a past history of peripheral artery disease, including surgery or prior ampu amputation, a history of intermittent claudication with objective criteria defining PAD, as well as carotid arterial disease, and coronary artery disease with a low ABI. This PAD cohort, like the overall COMPASS trial, were randomized to receive one of three treatments, rivaroxaban 2.5 milligrams twice daily plus aspirin, or rivaroxaban alone 5 milligrams twice daily, or aspirin alone 100 milligrams per day. The primary uh, MACE outcome, major adverse cardiovascular events, included the composite of cardiovascular death, MI, and stroke. We observed this was significantly reduced in patients receiving rivaroxaban and aspirin combination compared to aspirin alone, with a hazard ratio of 0.72, equivalent to a 28% relative risk reduction, which was very statistically significant. On the other hand, there was no reduction observed for patients receiving rivaroxaban alone as compared to aspirin. Of interest to PAD patients are major adverse limb events. Our primary major adverse limb event, known as MAIL, was severe limb ischemia events leading to an intervention, as well as major amputation due to a vascular cause. We observed that major adverse limb events were significantly reduced by the combination of rivaroxaban and aspirin as compared to aspirin alone with a relative risk reduction of 46%, which was highly statistically significant. On the other hand, a borderline reduction in major adverse limb events was observed with rivaroxaban alone as compared to aspirin. When we combine all major adverse cardiovascular events and all major adverse limb events, we observe a significant 31% relative risk reduction in favor of the rivaroxaban and aspirin combination compared to aspirin alone. There was an increase in major bleeding with the rivaroxaban and aspirin combination compared to aspirin alone with a 1.66 relative risk increase in major bleeding. The criteria to define a major bleed was the modified ISTH criteria. Importantly, no increase in fatal or non-fatal intracranial hemorrhage or symptomatic bleeding into a critical organ was observed with the combination of rivaroxaban and aspirin compared to aspirin alone. And the majority of bleeds were less severe and treatable. So in summary, the net clinical benefit of aspirin and rivaroxaban used together is in favor uh, of that combination in reducing major adverse cardiovascular events, major adverse limb events, including major amputation, as the rates of fatal or non-fatal serious critical organ bleeding were very low. So the summary is that rivaroxaban 2.5 milligrams twice daily plus aspirin may be an important therapy for the treatment of patients with PAD in the future.